There are so many different types of monkeys in the world that you see at the zoo or even on TV. But did you know that some of these monkeys are not considered monkeys at all? My name is Sam Turner, and I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between an ape and a monkey. Since there are around 138 species of old world monkey, which are monkeys from the Katarina Parv order, I will be using baboons to show why chimps are actually apes and not monkeys at all. Z's and baboons are primates of the suborder Haplerini. They divide into different superfamilies. Chimpanzees belong to the superfamily of Hominanoidea and family Hominidae, while baboons are the Cercopithecoidea family and Cercopithidae family. Chimp genus is Pan, while baboon genus is Papio. A group of baboons is called a troop, and there are five species of baboons. Baboon group members spend a lot of their time grooming each other to clean out insects and dead skin, as can be seen in the picture here. Like humans, a group of chimpanzees are called a community. Unlike humans, chimpanzees have two species, bonobos, pan paniscus, and the common chimpanzee, pan troglodytes. They can be found in 21 countries, from tropical rainforests to grasslands. Due to their highly social nature, chimpanzees live in larger groups, where they spend their days hunting for fruit and meat, using tools such as branches and rocks. So this is a picture that shows the basic physical features of a baboon. The most unique physical trait of baboons is probably their rears, and while most people think that all baboons have bright red butts, it's actually only the females who have red bottoms. They are the largest monkeys in the world, and they have long, flexible spines, limbs that are roughly the same size, and short tails. They have thick fur covering their bodies, except their dog-like muzzles, with close-set eyes. The other picture shows a baboon's powerful jaw, with sharp canines, which they use to intimidate prey and rivals. Chimpanzees are most known for their human-like features. One being that they do not have fur, they have a body full of hair. However, their most striking feature is their face with forward-facing eyes, small nose, and human-like ears. One major physical characteristic that differentiates them from monkeys is their absence of a tail. Chimpanzees occasionally walk on two feet, however, they are quadrupedal. They use a specialized form of quadrupedalism called knuckle walking in which their arms support their upper body. Due to their large size, they spend most of their time on the ground feeding. Baboons move around quadrupedally, meaning they walk with their palms on the ground, while they can climb trees and do so to find food, to sleep, or just to get a better view of their territories. They are mostly terrestrial, meaning they spend most of their time on the ground. Baboons are sexually dimorphic, meaning that males and females are different in size and appearance. Like I said before, females buttocks will swell, as you can see in the picture, and turn red to show males that they are ready to mate, but only the strongest and dominant males will get to mate with the females. It does occur that males who are nice to females, for example but by bringing them food or helping them care for their young, will get to mate with them. But for the most part, the males fight amongst each other to determine who will mate. Females gestate, or carry the fetus in the womb, for about six months and usually only have one offspring. Twins are rare and usually don't survive. Interestingly, chimps become sexually mature around the same age as humans. In contrast to humans, chimps have very strict male hierarchies in which males are dominant to women. Oftentimes, male chimps fight over who gets to mate with female. When female chimps are in heat, the skin around their genitals becomes swollen and pink. Like humans, chimps mate year-round and have a gestation period of nine months. As far as diet, impressively, chimpanzees are omnivores who are enormously flexible in gathering their preferred foods. Even though they are omnivores, their diet mainly consists of seeds, nuts, and fruits. In fact, they tend to nest near trees bearing the most ripe fruit. 
Studies show that chimpanzees possess a mental map of food landscapes and know when fruit is ripe. Baboons are opportunistic omnivores. They eat fruit, grass, seeds, bark, and roots. But they can also eat young animals of other species like antelope and vervet monkeys. They are opportunistic because they find food wherever they can. This goes to show the many differences that separate chimpanzees from monkeys.